Zimbabwe's Citizens Coalition for Change is today embarking on the party's by-election campaign launch. This is happening at the moment at the Zimbabwe grounds placed within the high-filled suburb on the south of Zimbabwe's capital, Harare. The launch comes just a few days after reports that Citizens Coalition for Change party members were arrested and allegedly beaten up by police uh, to discuss the party's by-election campaign launch. Let us now talk to Advocate Fadzai Mahere, the spokesperson for the Zimbabwe Citizens Coalition for Change political party. A good day, day to you and uh, welcome. Good afternoon. There are reports that security forces have set up roadblocks on roads leading to the venue uh, that you're in. Can you verify these reports? And if true, is this impacting your supporters' access to the venue? Well, it's absolutely correct that every single feeder road that's leading to high fields uh, where we are hosting this uh, biology campaign rally has got a, a high number of roadblocks and police officers, which is unprecedented and completely abnormal for a Sunday afternoon. However, the atmosphere at Zimbabwe grounds is electric. People have simply parked their cars on the side of the road and decided to walk. And the, the stadium, the grounds are packed. Everybody is ready. Nothing is going to stand in the way of them coming to this launch rally today. And this is despite the violence that's been meted out by the regime. Just yesterday, uh, our supporters were arrested, and, and obviously there was the torture that happened uh, on Friday. We also saw uh, Mr. Beauty's arrest earlier this week. We also saw Amos Chibaya, who's the uh, organizing secretary, also get arrested. So there's definitely been a clampdown on our supporters and, supporters and an escalation of political violence. But despite uh, these acts by the regime, People are still bent on coming. People said, look, nothing is going to stand in the way of them coming to the next Sunday this afternoon. We all know your party is fairly new. How ready are you for these by-elections? And, and have all your registration processes uh, uh, been finalized? Yes, we are very ready. We filed all our nomination papers. Our structures are fired up. Uh, as we obviously know, these by-elections came about because the only the recall uh, of our uh, members of our former party, you know, the coalition for change is a brand new party. So all our structures are ready. We are mobilized. Uh, obviously, we also have a voter registration guide that's taking place. But that's not the time and we're very ready uh, to, to send out a clear message to the regime on the 26th of March when the by-elections happen. That's the Zimbabwean people, the citizens are ready for change and they're prepared to demand it. Um, Zimbabwe has some uh, really established political parties and a, 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 some level of political intolerance uh, to, in, uh, to newcomers. Just give us a sense of the political and security climate as your party tries to become part of the uh, political landscape in Zimbabwe. That's a very good question. Now, obviously, we are a new political party that was established on the 24th of January. However, a lot of our leaders have been in the game for a long time. As you know, our leader, uh, our chain champion in chief, uh, uh, President Nelson Chamisa, has been in the game for a very long time. We know that he got over 2 million votes in the last presidential election. A lot of our leaders have already served in parliament and have been in parliament. So these are people who are now very opposed to the regime and to be some of the leaders in opposing some of the repressive policies of Mr. Nangaga's uh, uh, government. So they're not treating us like an ordinary, brand new political party. There is a heightened atmosphere of violence. Uh, they are beating people up for simply wearing yellow. Our political campaign color is yellow. So just being seen wearing a yellow shirt, people got people get beaten every single day. Uh, we saw the example of the Rasmus and a number of others. We saw what happened in Harare East earlier this week. Uh, they were uh, a number of carrying a number of our members were carrying out a car rally on Friday. They were badly reported by the police uh, and arrested. So we are aware that the regime is not happy uh, with the political party that's being led by President Kamisa because it's the best fit forward for change for this country. So we need to try and do everything uh, to stop it, to try and stop it. But the citizens, uh, the citizens who make up our movement are determined 
that in 2023, and obviously the precursor election, the by election that's going to be uh, in about a month's time, is, is a moment for us to historically say, uh, one thing for all in Zimbabwe, that we want transformation. We want a government that cares about the people. We've got 49 percent uh, extreme poverty. We've got a water crisis. We've got an electricity crisis. We've got a job crisis. There's over, you know, 80 percent unemployment. We've obviously started in South Africa with our migration crisis. The economic situation in Zimbabwe is deplorable, and people want change, which is exactly the statement people are making uh, as they join and participate in the activities of the citizens' coalition for change. And as we're speaking to you, we're showing uh, footage that's come through this morning from uh, the event, and we see the yellow all over the place. Um, quite a decent and sizable uh, uh, outcome. What do you uh, what do you attribute this to uh, this uh, support that you've gotten today? So I mean there are, there are a couple of things that I think are, are responsible for this. The first thing is that the citizens of Zimbabwe believe in the leadership of President Nelson Chamisa. They know that he stands for uh, you know a Zimbabwe that's transformed, where everybody has freedom, has opportunity, has prosperity, has fairness. Uh, but also more than that, when we, when we announced our entry into the political marketplace, we said we are choosing yellow because we want to inspire hope and a thirst for change. So this is not a business as usual or politics as usual. It's a full campaign that's founded on hope where people say, look, we are citizens and we want to reclaim our nation for prosperity. We want to reclaim our nation for change. So it's that a positive thing that we put onto the political landscape and said, look, despite where we are now, we believe in a great new Zimbabwe where, you know, everybody uh, uh, has opportunities. It works for the many and not the few. You know, corruption is a thing of the past. Because as you know, Zimbabwe leads over two billion to corruption. So, and while people are, are suffering in poverty, so people can see that, you know, a new leadership. The problem is leadership in Zimbabwe. So when you've got an ethical government, things will definitely change. Where citizens come first and citizens are returned to the center of governance and decision making. That's our best hope uh, for change and better lives in Zimbabwe. So this might just be a launch of your by-elections campaign, but this overwhelming res uh, response to your launch can obviously be used by the party as a litmus test uh, for your future hold on uh, influence and support uh, in the political space in Zimbabwe. What are you thinking about your prospects as you watch this, this uh, response by your supporters? I mean, the, the, the response has been overwhelming today and in the, the days and weeks preceding today. I mean, the citizens have painted the whole nation yellow. And we're not just talking about Harare and Bilawa, you're the capital, even in Binga, as in most areas like Chibi, in Machingo province. Citizens are excited in rural areas, every village, every town, every city is talking about uh, the brand new yellow movement. So we believe our prospects are extremely strong. Uh, you know, we're obviously doing all the heavy work that's required to ensure that technically we are ready, especially for uh, the 2023 elections, even for the by election. This is our dry run. This is, uh, you know, the election that we're going to use as a, uh, a dry run and uh, an appetizer for what citizens can expect in 2023. And we know that when the Zimbabweans come together and collectively work for change, great things can happen. Advocate Mahera, of course you know political developments in Zimbabwe are watched globally. And uh, as we watch the Citizens Coalition for Change, uh, their genesis and uh, watching how they develop, what should we be making of this party? What identifies this party? So the, 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 the guiding value, uh, you know, the, 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 the big idea uh, that underpins the citizens' coalition for change is that citizens must come first. You know, for too long we've had a government system where political elites are at the forefront. As uh, you know, they steal our money, they loot the money that's meant to fix roads, that's meant to build hospitals and clinics, that's meant to build our public schools. And we're saying no, governments must return to the people. The citizens must come first. They must elect their representatives, they must be consulted widely in policy formulation because we do have a huge alternative policy formulation to us. And the citizens must have a government in place 
that they believe in and that they choose. We know that in Zimbabwe for a long time, you know, our government has been the product of disputed elections. And that's why the social contract in our nation has broken down. You know, what the citizens came in for change stands for uh, is a government that's for the people, that's by the people, and those citizens really have a strong voice and lead in terms of all matters that affect them. Which specific by-elections are you gunning for and what are your prospects for winning? So um, there are about 28 constituency by-elections and then over um, 100 uh, uh, municipal or local authority ones. And we want to clean seat. Uh, these are mostly uh, seats that we held when we used to be known as the NBC Alliance. So uh, even stronger now, we believe that we've got very strong chances. People are even more fired up and mobilized uh, today than they have been in previous years. And so we want to capitalize on that to make sure that the win is not possible. We want to gain ground in the civil coalition for change uh, so that at uh, come 2023, we're able to reach our target of 6 million votes uh, in the presidential election, a people of majority in parliament, and then obviously two seats in local authorities where we've always been strong. Of course, we'll be watching to see if your prophecies will be fulfilled, but thanks for making the time to speak to us. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Advocate Fadzai Mahere is a spokesperson for the Zimbabwe Citizens Coalition for Change political party.